this bike has a very, very precise regulation of the power. It's very smooth due of a very, very precise encoder. The encoder, it's located here on the back of this cover, provides a feedback to the motor controller about the position of the rotor. Then the motor controller, knowing the position of the rotor, can properly adjust the magnetic field to properly manage the motor. Now, let's remove first the cover. It has actually, this encoder has 360 degree resolution, so it's very, very precise. We have a cover here with a gasket to protect the water and dust intrusion. And the optical encoder. So just remove the connector. There's a button to push to remove the connector, remove the gasket, so actually this is the optical encoder of the vehicle. How it works? There is an electronic circuit pointing with the laser on a lens and the signal comes back through this disc. This disc has a mi some micro holes come back to through the disc and there's a sensor reading the pulse of a light. This determinate the position of the rotor according to the magnetic field. It determinate also the speed and the acceleration. It's a quite delicate component that's why it's sealed and now we are going to remove it. First of all we have to remove the lens. The lens is this black parts. We have just to pull it out, being careful to not damage the disc, to not bend the disc surface. Here we have the lens. Place it into the clean part, to be sure that no dust is coming in. Then we have to remove the disc. By losing this bolt, we'll be able to remove the disc. Can I ask somebody to brake, to pull the rear brake lever to lock the wheel? Because this is actually connected to the axle. Yes. Lose it. And remove the disc without touching the surface. Okay. And now we can remove the sensor himself. Here we can see this part. This is the, here in the hole there is a laser and this is the sensor that read the light pulls back from the lens. If this surface get dirty or the holes of the disc get dirty, or the lens himself get dirty, the signal sent back to the motor controller can be corrupted or not precise enough. We will, it will result in a not smooth driving of a motor. And actually can result also in the overheating. If the disc is dirty or the signal coming back to the motor controller is detected as corrupted, we will have an error message on the display showing encoder. The bike will continue to drive with limited performance. In most, in most of the case, it's just possible to dismount the encoder, clean it carefully, mount it back with the new gasket, recalibrate, we will see later using the diagnostic application, how to calibrate the encoder, and the problem will be solved. Some other cases, it will be required to replace the entire encoder. Now, Either to mount back the original encoder, either to mount a new unit, we need two special tools to define the position of the encoder, to align the laser to the lens. 
So take the first one, we can see there are two pins sticking out that have to be inserted into those two holes here. Click them in. Then we can place the sensor and screw the sensor in position. So the holes of the sensor that are slightly bigger to let have a sw small free play. And then we are just going to lock it in the proper position. Then we can remove the first tool. Let's place the disc, being sure that it's clean and straight, that is not bended back in position, keeping always this bolt loose. Then we place <coughs> this tool, there is a part sticking up, we can recognize it. We have to place it here and in and push the disc in position. This will define the depth of the disc. And then we have to tighten the bolt to lock the disc in position. Break, please. And remove it. The disc is locked. Then we can mount the lens back in position. There are those two pins, the same pin holes used for the tool are used to drive the lens in position and then we just push and click tick tick we can mount back the gasket connect the cable data cable and the cover in general we recommend every 30,000 kilometers 25-30,000 kilometers to check the encoder chamber to be sure that the encoder is clean some dust or getting age of the gasket it may create some small powder that can dirty a little bit the surface in most of the cases it's possible to just clean it using some uh, compressed air spray just to take over the dust without pointing directly to the disc to be sure that it doesn't get bended and then seal it back now, the encoder is properly mounted, but as you notice, there is no fixed reference point for the disk to the axle. So now we will have to run a calibration procedure using the computer to let the motor controller detect the position of the disk according to the rotor and store this information in his memory. Otherwise, the bike it will not drive. So we are going to calibrate the encoder right now. The encoder needs to be calibrated each time it's going to be removed from the motor or each time the motor controller has been replaced. As the information about the encoder position is stored in the motor controller memory. So either replacing the encoder, either replacing the motor controller, it will require the new calibration. There is a built-in self-calibration procedure. To invoke it, we have to do the following uh, procedure. With the bike raised up, so with the rear wheel free to spin, and the vehicle off, and the side stand elevated, we just do full throttle, right brake, and in this position we turn on the ignition key, and we wait till the service 
range, will light and then will release brake and throttle. The go will appear and the speedometers will move slightly. When it comes back to the zero position, it's already calibrated. Now we can spin the motor till the wrench gets reset. Done. The calibration is completed. During the calibration procedure, you will see that the speedometers will move and in the same time you will see that the motor it will slowly slowly spin the movement is very small 